today I'm going to do some more of um, the lettering. This is the cursive lettering. Uh, the other one I was showing you was uh, print or block lettering. Uh, first of all, I'll show you that I print out on a piece of paper. Let's see if I got that in focus. Um, the word that I want to write on the sign. And then I transfer it to the sign with some um, transfer paper. There's gray, dark, there's black, and there's white transfer paper. I'll center that and get that transferred and then come back. I have transferred by going over the letter with a pen and you can see the outline. I try not to get it too dark but you'll notice on the skinnier part I just do one line. I don't try to do the width of the line because your brush will just do that. And if you try to do the width, you have to make it wider, and then you end up getting it too broad. So now that I've got the lettering transferred, I will start painting. And i got to get my brush and stuff ready. I'm going to start with a script liner to do the skinnier parts. And right here it turns skinny from the wide part. And I just follow the curve. And I just keep following the curve, whichever is easiest for my hand to move. Also, I'm trying to keep my hand out of the camera, so that's why I'm doing it at odd angles. But you do it at whatever angle is most comfortable for you. This isn't the most comfortable for me, but you've got to be able to see. And hopefully I am not blocking the camera since I can't see your viewfinder right now and then across here and this end has a skinny tip so then I will move oops, to the number four brush to do the wider parts to number four flat Actually, this is a number six. I'm incorrect. Correct myself. But whatever will fit the size of your lettering. And I just start on the chisel, flatten out on this edge, and bring it back up to the chisel where it is skinnier. And that's the A. And then where it needs to be widened, I just go back over it. Excuse my arm reaching for the paint. Okay, and I will do the D, just follow the outline, I'm not pressing hard enough, I think I should go get the number four, I think the number four fits it better, you'll see when it's skinnier I go up on the chisel, when it's wider I flatten it out. Yeah, I'm going to get the number four. Okay, we'll try the next D. The name is actually Addie's, so I'm going to do the D here. Straight down, flatten the brush, bring up to a chisel edge for the edge there. Yes, the number four is doing much better. Chisel edge for the skinny, flatten, press, flatten, lift back up to the chisel for the circle part of the D. Here's I. And bring up. And I just do two half circles to fill in the circle. And this is the E. Pretty easy. Do the car. Um, what is that called? quotation marks. Okay, up. Uh, I just kind of swirl for the top of the S. Chisel edge, flatten, and back up to the chisel. Then that's basically how I do cursive lettering. Now I had printed it out, this word in Word, but uh, for larger, like banners or whatever, I use another 
like Photoshop or there's also um, that's a print shop that I use too. So that's about it. Uh, I was asked to do a video on how I do my lettering. So sometimes I do outline first and other times I just go in with my brush. This is a number 12 low Cornell 7300 shader because it fits the size of the letters. So I'll try to keep my hand out of your way so that you can see what I'm doing. I just follow the outline as best I can. It's never very perfect. Good chisel edge brush. Not very worn works the best, so you get the sharp edges without the scruffies. And that's about it. Clean up some edges. And let's see. Let's see if I can do another one for you. Maybe the eye. Start the top edge, go to the bottom edge, top edge, go to the bottom edge. Clean up any ridges caused by a lot of paint. pretty much it. Okay, we'll do this again. I noticed when I reviewed that video that um, my hand was in your way, so let's try it again. Again, I start top corner and just follow the outline. I had used graphite transfer paper to transfer the lettering. You'll see this is but I printed out, laid it on there, taped it to keep it steady, and then put the transfer paper between and went over the lettering. I'm a little squiggly because I'm not, I'm trying so hard to keep my hand out of your way. Anyways. You can see I just follow the lines and come back and it overlaps. Sometimes I come along with a chisel edge if I want to clean up an edge. And sometimes I leave it kind of rough for those that want it to look more rustic. And sometimes when I make a mistake, I take a Q-tip and I dampen it. And I'll run it along. Then turn it to a clean side, run it along. And then I can straighten up that edge, go over it. And if it doesn't come off as much as I want, I add a little alcohol to it and it pulls up more. Just be careful because it'll take up the underneath color too if you get the alcohol too much on there. Yeah. There you go.